Hey there, Psych2Go family. For those of you who are new or someone who's been a loyal fan, we're so glad to see you here and want to thank you for supporting us. Your ongoing help, sharing, and liking has helped Psych2Go continue our mission to make psychology accessible to everyone. Want more information about the topic of this video? No problem, there are references at the end. Have you ever wondered how you could learn more about psychology? Or maybe you have an itch to expand your knowledge of what's happening in the world today? Psych2Go is offering a promotion where you can purchase our magazine issues one through five on topics like mental health, substance abuse, social anxiety, and adoption. What we think you'll enjoy most are the illustrations and unique content that you can't find anywhere else. It's a for student by student publication for people who love psychology. Now, back to the current topic. Has your friend been acting out of character lately? Do you sense that they might be hiding something from you? It can be frustrating when your friends aren't completely honest or upfront with you, especially about the things that matter. So here are eight signs your friend may be lying to you. Number one, they do a lot of hand gestures. Observe your friend's body language carefully. Experts believe that people often gesture a lot with their hands when they're lying, especially if they do it after speaking instead of during. Their minds are so busy coming up with a lie and making up a story to support it that they often delay their gesturing and movements. Someone who is lying is also more likely to use both hands when gesturing, face their palms away from you, and exaggerate their movements. Two, they fidget more than usual. Do you notice them fidgeting more than usual? Do they shuffle their feet or touch their face and play with their hair? All of these are examples of nervous tics that people subconsciously do when they're lying. When you're nervous, your heartbeat accelerates and your automatic nervous system goes into overdrive, causing you to feel restless and on edge. Three, they break eye contact with you. You might think that when someone is lying to you, they can't look you straight in the eyes. However, a recent study showed that liars are actually 70% more likely to stare directly at you than those who are telling the truth. This is because they want to appear more confident and act as if they have nothing to hide. The real trick is if they can maintain eye contact with you, because liars have a tendency to break eye contact a lot. Number four, their tone of voice changes. Does your friend talk quickly or raise their voice when they get defensive? Aside from body language or facial cues, you can listen closely to their tone of voice. People who are nervous talk in a higher pitch than normal because the muscles in your vocal cords tighten up as an instinctive response to stress. Other tells include cracks in their voice, frequently clearing their throat, and if they swallow before they speak. Number five, they repeat words or phrases. Do you notice that your friend repeats certain words or phrases over and over again when they're giving you an excuse as to why they're late or missed an event? While that doesn't necessarily mean that they're lying to you, it should still make you suspicious. Liars tend to talk more and repeat themselves a lot to seem more open, honest, and genuine. Number six, they give very vague answers. Does your friend give you really vague answers like, I have this really important thing I need to do and just leave it at that? Studies show that vague answers like these often mean that the person is lying. They might also repeat questions before answering them, intentionally leaving out important details and say um or uh a lot instead of responding right away. Number seven, they quickly end the conversation. Once your friend thinks they've convinced you of their lies, they'll want to end the conversation as soon as possible. They might change the topic or act indifferently by checking their watch, shrugging, or looking bored to prompt you to end the conversation. They might also excuse themselves by saying they have somewhere else to be or an appointment they're running late for, or pretend to answer a phone call and leave. And number eight, you sense something is off with them. Finally, if all else fails, Go with your gut. If you sense that your friend seems off or notice they're acting suspiciously lately, then there's probably more to the story. One study found that participants could intuitively tell when someone was lying with up to 43% accuracy. There are a lot of nonverbal cues that our subconscious mind may pick up that tells us that our friends are lying or are hiding something from us. If you wanna learn more about your gut instincts, check out our video titled, Seven Gut Instincts You Should Not Ignore. So, did you notice any of these signs when talking to your friend? Do you think they may be being dishonest with you about something? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. Also, 
If you end up purchasing the magazine, you'll also get exclusive access to a private group where you can meet other psychology enthusiasts. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.